Hey Thailanders, it's Brian Smith, reporter for the Peninsula Clarion, here with your fishing report for July 18th. Well, as you can see, the sockeye and the dip netters have infiltrated the Kenai Peninsula. Fishing on the Kenai River for sockeye has been great the last couple of days. Fish on! I told you they were coming. They're on their way. Get the net ready. It's simply great. It's tough. It's the fishing, it's the nature, it's uh, the fish itself. So the sockeye came through the river in mass on Sunday and Monday, but tapered off a little bit on Tuesday. However, this weekend should still be good for everybody. That's great news for dip netters lining the beaches. But remember that dip net fishery is for residents only. Dip net season goes through the end of July and fishing is only allowed between 6 in the morning and 11 at night. Unfortunately, the Kenai and Kasilof rivers both closed to king salmon fishing through the end of the season, which would have been July 31st. No king fishing is allowed in Cook Inlet north of Bluff Point either. Here's hoping on next year, I suppose. Trout fishermen can take a break from sockeye fishing and enjoy a little flesh pattern action this weekend. Try a dull pink, washed out white, or egg combination flesh pattern. Fish are around the areas where there are a lot of carcasses washing up and breaking up in the system. There are good clamming tides this week, so check your local chart, and ocean fishing remains a good option for halibut hunters. Also, don't forget about local lakes, but you should try ones a little bit off the road system this time of year. Take a break and hike up to Crescent, Fuller, or something maybe in the Swanson River system. With that, I'll let you get to it. Here's wishing you tight lines.